Well, hi folks, today I'm just going to make a few of these lighthouses. I don't know whether you can see the candle in it. It's just a, a big, the tallest pot with a pierced thing on the top. I've got a candle in there. If I turn the light out, I don't know whether you can see. Sell them as lamps, you can put a candle in. There you go. It's got a lid on, so obviously you can get in. So we'll get on, make some, I'll make one of these and show you it from start to finish and show you how I do it. So I'm just going to make the, the body first, it's just going to be a tallish cylinder. Put my right glasses on then I can see. So just a straight cylinder with a bit of a, with the top just folded over. before I do my first knuckle lift. So I'll collar it in first, get it a bit narrower. Knuckle lift as usual. Slightly taper into the top. As lighthouses generally seem to be a bit wider at the bottom than at the top. I'll just get a last little bit of height. And then just bend this over at the top. flat which is where the little lighthouse light bit will sit on inside two little parts which is the the bit which I'll be cutting out where the light goes and the lid or the roof Sided pot. I'm just going to judge the, the width by eye. You've got a bit of tolerance as to the size. It couldn't be easier. Just a dead simple straight sided little cylinder like that. get it quite thin so it's quite fine when I cut the, the windows out.
<coughs> so just have a quick joke, you probably can't see this. Yeah, that'll fit on there, and I'll just make another lid. A lid for the roof. I'm going to make this with quite a tall knob on the top, so I'm centering it quite sort of round like that, and then I'm going to push in about half an inch away from the centre and down, and you see you'll get a piece of clay pops up like that. And just spread that bit out there, and then for this bit to make the knob, just a matter of squeezing it up between your fingers, and then form a, a knob on the top. That's going to be the little roof. Could be easier again, if you see. Little knob, little roof. So that's the first bit done. So tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll basically I'll show you how I carve this out, and then I'll show you how we stick stick them together, and then that'll be done. Well, hi folks, it's day two now, so I'm just going to show you how I carve out the, the lighthouse top with my little hacksaw blade. So I'll just get on. I've not got any markings on it or anything or any guides. I'm just going to do it. Well, I thought we had a bit of a miss start there. So anyway, I've just the, the 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 camera went off. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start to carve out the the windows in this part of the lighthouse. I've got my little hacksaw blade there sharpened. I'm going to do these alternate triangles, like so. So I'll just keep carrying on. Like I said before, before the camera stopped, Claire's a little bit soft at the moment because it's a bit cold in the pottery and stuff's not dried out. But we'll get on with it and do it and see what happens. So I'm just going to go all the way around. When I get near the end, I'll try and match them in. You can do different, uh, different designs, but I find this one quite easy. It looks a bit it's quite similar to some lighthouse windows. Camera's still working. So this is probably the only tricky bit, and once you get the hang of this, it's it's not too bad. Like I said, it is a little bit soft, but. We'll see how we get on. So I'm past halfway now, so another six or so cuts, and that should be it. And then when I get round where I can see both sides, I'll put a few little guide marks in just so I can match the final few in. So we're getting round now to that stage. So if I split the difference, put one in the middle. And then cut these bits out in between. We should have a matching set of windows you can see how cold, how wet it is by the way it's moving so that's that done all nice and even so I'll just get on and I'll uh, turn the show you how I turn the, the main body of the pot and stick it all together right then so the next job is to just turn this a little bit Turn a bit of a profile at the base. Just 
いなことで。Bands of colour on, nothing too fancy. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to scratch the top of the where the top's going to join on, just make it a little bit rougher, so it's got more chance of sticking to it. And then the way I'm going to stick it is just to use a lot of slip from my wheel, put a great load in there. It's acting like a glue. And hope it sticks. So now it's a matter of sticking the, the top on. Might go out of shot this, I'll see. This is the tricky bit. This can be a, take a while to get straight. To keep altering it. So I'll just put it on. That's a bit off key. Just move it about until it's... I think that's about as straight as it's going to get. So I'm just going to push it down just to get it to key with the with the clay. Just check it again for see how straight it is. That's about as straight as it's going to get. And I'm just going to cut a hole out to let the air from one pot to the other so obviously it doesn't explode in the kiln. And then just for another touch more of bonding, I'm just going to use a tool to just spread some clay about around the seam between the two pots. So that's that. And then what, the last final bit, and then I'll put it all together. I'm just going to trim the, the roof or the lid. Do it by eye. I'm not going to measure it because it doesn't matter if it's a little bit bigger. A bit of colour on this as well. So that's that done. Just cut this off. Put it back on here and I'll show you what it looks like finished. Might go out of shot with the top and the final bit is the lid. It has gone out of shot, I'll just try it. <laughs> Alter the camera so you can get it all in. Probably can't get it all in. So there we go folks, that's me, uh, my take on a lighthouse. Quite easy to do, it looks quite good when it's finished, but it's only a straight pot, a little pierced pot and a lid. But that's it folks, my little lighthouse again. <laughs>